Howdy folks, my name is Richie, aka Bogot, and I'm here with a Wildstar beta video. I got special permission to actually post footage of the beta, so please be advised that the NDA is still in effect for the majority of users, and also, since this is a beta, things are subject to change. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the character customization options for the Mordash race, both male and female. The Mordash are on the Exile side. This is a two-faction MMO. There are, there are four races in the Dominion, four races on the Exiles, and, uh, uh, you know, if you don't know anything about them, Mordash, let's let's read a little bit about them. They are armed with forbidden knowledge of science and alchemy. The Mordash are bri brilliant scientists and deadly spies. Having fallen victim to a degenerative disease known as the Contagion, the Mordash have come to Nexus to seek a cure, and they are more than ready to unleash their dark and deadly arts against their Dominion enemies. So the Exiles are a lot of scrappy, kind of, you know feel good and uh, you know try to work together types and the Mordash are kind of like the little darker side of the exiles they're willing to get their hands dirty a little bit more they used to be a, a, a race of very beautiful people and this contagion that has inflicted their entire race has kind of turned them into a little bit like you know kind of like space zombies a little bit now the Mordash can be the following classes they can be warriors engineers medics stalkers and spell slingers so right now only the esper is unavailable to them and they have all four paths available to them, like every race. Every race has access to all four paths. Now, if you don't, if you're not familiar with Wildstar, don't know what paths are, don't know what the classes do, go over and check out my Nexus Talk videos on the Zam official YouTube channel. There's a playlist to access those easily on my own personal channel. I've actually have. Uh, Nexus talk videos about the paths and about each of the classes, so you can go check that out. Now let's look at the customization for the Mordash. Actually, first let's let's start with the female side on this video. So let's do that, and uh, let's go over the different options. So we got face style. She doesn't look overly friendly. In fact, what are these things sticking out of her face? Can we make that a little bit more neutral? There we go. Let's do that. So. We can get a more clear look, clean look to the face. So we got gaunt and tragic. These guys are very like goth looking. Look at it. Oh, as soon as I say goth, we got the the crying makeup, the running mis running mascara. She's like, I haven't slept in nine years. Where's the eye color? Can we change that? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, that changes like a lot. The eye color is actually all right. So this is actually part of what makes the Mordash so cool. See, see, there's sections of their their flesh that are gone and replaced by like these. I don't know how they're like little aquarium test tube things. And inside there, they have um, uh, Vita Serum, which is actually just like a. It's like kind of like an antitoxin to this contagion that actually helps keep them alive. And I guess if you change the color of your eyes, you get to change the color of the fluid that's inside of these little cells I, I like that a lot all right so let's 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 take the green look and uh we'll continue with the face option so we've got this and this and now we've got metal jaw metal jaw woman we've got no pupil creepy look at this and the little nose straw i like the nose straw she's constantly in a state of drinking kool-aid through her nose all right i don't have much to say about that except you <laughs> Now that's pretty cool. I like that one a lot. I don't know how she eats, but I don't think it matters. She looks awesome. She looks scary. And that's kind of creepy. Look at that. Even her pupils are all like machine-like. I'm gonna go with this one. I like that. All right, let's customize this. So there's a bunch of different sliders. I'm gonna actually, I'll mention this right now. There are no body customization options in Wildstar right now, and this is something I've spoken about in the other videos, but I wish there was a way to customize your height or the build, like so you could be more of an athletic build or, you know, a skinny, a scrawny build, maybe an overweight build. You don't have any of those options. There's no body sliders at all. Uh, there is, I like the character customization in general for what they give you with the facial features and the hairstyles and stuff, but overall, I'm a little disappointed that there's no body sliders currently in the game. So the chin angle, okay, you can see that's uh, wiggling down there. Chin length, I'm not gonna actually craft like something that looks awesome with all these sliders, but I just wanna give you a general impression of what each of them do. So we've got four different options for customizing the chin, eye angle, the height of the eyes, how big are the eyes, the eye socket height, the eyes, eye socket size, which is different than the eye size. Spacing, eye spacing, 
and the eyebrows. Okay, I got a bunch of different options for those. Mouth, mouth depth. I bet if we turn it to the side, we can see that. Yeah. Mouth height. Mouth size. Nose. <laughs> she doesn't have a nose. What is this nose thing doing? What do you mean nose? It got chopped off years ago. It fell off during the contagion. So, yeah. So I'm assuming, let's see, if we change the face real quick. And we go. Okay, see, now the nose is wiggling. Now the sniffer is being adjusted. Some rhinoplasty action going on, but I want to go back to this. Because that looks cooler. Oh, look at the veins in her ear. That's awesome. I like the veins in the ear. It's a good woman there. Veins in your... Okay, skin color. Green. Got the greenish tinge. Purple tinge. Oh, with spots. The spots on the, all of them? Oh, yeah, there's spots on all of them. This is more of a paler bluish purple. Another green. I don't even know what to call that. Pale. Darker green. So there's like three different shades of green. That's very pale white. I would... I, I, that could be a, a fourth green. Greenish purple. Translucent. Oh! Pink. And... Kind of a pale purple. I, I kind of like the darker. Let's go with that. All right, hairstyles. So right now we've got this mohawk. Eh, I don't think that's a mohawk. It's like a, almost like some sort of bird plumage. What do we got here? We've got a flock of seagulls to one side and some, I don't even know what those are doing, brain sucking leads. Okay, this is the one we started with. We've got dreadlocks. And short. Oh, this is more, oh, I like that. Look at that, it's more actually different types of dreads, right? That one looks amazing. That's pretty cool too. I like all these hairstyles, to be honest, I really do. I, I think I like this one a lot. If I was like making my own character, I'd probably choose this whole look right here. I love that, but let's, let's choose this for now because we got hair color next and I have a feeling, let's just test this out. I have a feeling, yeah, this doesn't change at all with that hairstyle. But I wonder, does this change with the eye? Oh, it does change with the eye color. So you can actually change the glow in between. Oh, wow. I could I could spend hours in character creation here. Okay. So um, let's do, where, where was I? I got confused. All right. We're going to stick with the hair color. We got black, purple, red. I think that's white or gray, yellow, green, darker purple, blue, lots of different options here. Pink, I don't know what that is, pinkish black, and then like a blue color. Yeah, let's leave it at purple, and then the eye color changes everything else. Oh, wow, this looks awesome! I'm excited. I think if I was going to... I don't know if I'm rolling Exile or Dominion yet, but I, I think the Mordesh appealed to me on the uh, the Exile side the most. I kind of dig that look, to be honest. And facial accessories. What are these? Okay. Oh, wow. We got, like, extra... Extra gadgets on the sides of our mouth. That looks pretty cool. Oh, we got a little... Mouth retainer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the antenna that we started with. We got some jewelry on our eyes and these little blue sensor things. Piercings everywhere. Help me breathe. And that looks like the plain one. I kind of like that. So there we go. There's the there's the female Mordesh that I have crafted painstakingly. I'd probably take triple the amount of time to create this character if I was alone and not recording. Alright, so that's the female version. So we'll accept that. Where's my body sliders? And on the Mordesh male side, let's create one of these dudes. All right, customize. Wow, he is bright and chipper, isn't he? Let's let's start with, oh, a couple different options here. Oh, I like that. We're gonna get to that. All right, we'll get to it. Let's get let's start with facial facial style here. 
Let, let's see, facial, do we have facial hair, facial accessories? Let's start with none. All right, so we got this guy. This is, you know, he's like attractive elf before he turned into a zombie kind of heroic looking dude. This guy, I'm not so sure about. He looks a little, does he look confused? I'm not sure if he looks confused. He looks a little serious. Not, not fun in parties. Wow, that guy, oh, this is the guy I was talking about before. He's just really bright eyed. I would tone down his eyes, <laughs> squint them a little bit. All right, so we got that guy. Oh, that guy looks pretty cool the, with the shade. He looks like he's wearing goggles almost and he's got this little vein thing connecting to his jaw. I think a lot of people are probably gonna go with that face. It looks really neat. And look at this one though, this one is sick. You could see his jaw and his, or his like his gums and his teeth in there, and it's actually moving. And I assume when you change the eye color, that fluid color change, yeah, it does, it changes. That's awesome. I like that one too. That's creepy. This guy, that that looks like it would stink. I don't want that stuff up my nose all day. I really don't. All right, we've got. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Very, very defined features. Whoa! Hello, Mr. Angry. I don't like you! I never liked you! I want you gone from here! And I turn my back on you. Okay. And, oh, okay, that was the first one we had. So, let's see, I... I think a lot of people are gonna choose that one. Should we make this guy? It's creepy. Let's go, let's go with Angry Dude. Let's see what we can do with Angry Dude. I am not amused! I just have a feeling that a lot of the facial uh, sliders that we're going to go through are not going to do much to this face. I really like this face, though. Um, let's let's see what happens when we customize this guy. I don't know if I can take him staring at me, though. Alright, chin. we got the four chin sliders. All of them. None of, none of them do too much with that. Eye angle. Eye height. I just feel like he's judging me. He's totally judging me. Eye socket side. All right, so there we go. That that tones that down a little. Eye spacing and eyebrow height. He's still judging me, even though I changed his eyes. All right, mouth depth. Hey, at least when he's looking over there, he's judging somebody else. Oh, the chin. Look how big his face you can get. All right, and then his nose. Look at my nose, it's crooked. I've got my mother's nose. Nose prominence and the width. All right, so we've succeeded in keeping him ugly. Skin colors, we've got the gaunt purplish gray, dark, bluish purple, a green, pale, pale yellow, white kind of more of a bluish gray another type of green and a purple this look pretty cool i like i'm gonna pick this one here all right let's look at the hairstyles all right we've got the electronic electrode braids mohawk standard standard gotta have a mohawk okay the brushed back feathery look Oh, look at this! Look at that! Can you see his brain? You can see his brain up there! Oh, man. Oh, I, I wonder if you do... <laughs> Dude, this face... You're just, you're just all exposed all over the place. This poor guy, he was like... He's like as close as he could be to death. His, his mouth and nose fell off. His scalp fell off. He doesn't have eyes. But he's still alive. I'm sure he's very happy. He can't even talk. Or can't... Or can't I don't know. Opens his mouth, it might be terrible. Terrible things happen. Alright, so, hairstyle. Alright, we got this one, spiky. Um, I don't even know what that is. Like little pistons for his head. Rastafarian. Does that one not, does this one not work? This one doesn't work. Beta is beta. We don't get to see that one. 
All right, let's choose one that actually has hair. We'll choose this, uh, let's go with this one. And that way we can see the different hair colors. Okay, black and purple and red, white, yellow, green, purpley pink, bluish, definitely pink, and a blue. All right, what color should we go with? Let's do this guy. And eye color. Pale. Pale blue, pink. And now again, this changes the uh, sections of your body that are missing. Which I think is a cool touch. And how about this? We'll do an orange. All right, facial accessories. Okay, we've got... It's interesting. We don't have... We don't have the lamb chops. We have these little metal brackets attached to our face. We've got glowy rings. I don't know what those are. We got a little loop D chin ring. Harmonica face. And ow. Ow. That looks painful. So why don't we just why don't we go with that? There we go. There's our Mordash mail. Lots of options. I think it's pretty cool. Can do a couple randoms here to see, see what you can get. And life is like a box of chocolates. I like the Mordash. The Mordash are pretty cool. Yeah, I like that one too. That one's pretty cool. I didn't even have to customize it. Look at that freebie. So that's going to wrap things up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know, what do you think about the Mordash character customization options? Would you like to see body sliders as well? Um, hopefully that's something they can put in later on. Uh, please hit that like button before you go and subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when future videos are released. And uh, also, the subscriber feeds on YouTube are a little bit wonky. They don't always show the newest videos. So uh, if you have the option, you can, you, there's the option there to subscribe and get an email notification. And that way you'll get an email every time I put out a new video so you don't miss any of my content. I hope everybody has a fantastic day and I'll see you next time. Take care.